So recently I had someone that wanted to know what is causing her paresthesia. Okay, first of all, what is paresthesia? A paresthesia is a problem with the nervous system. You have some abnormal sensation coming from the sensory nerves. There's two types, branches of nerves. One is motor, which controls movement. The other one is sensory, which is perception. And there's many different fibers that control different uh, sensations, okay? Um, so if the sensory nerve is damaged in any way, you can have a lack of feeling, and that's called numbness. You can have tingling. You can have pins and needles. You can even have the sensation of cold or even burning pain. You can have the feeling of ants crawling on your, your skin. That's, that's a nerve problem. You can actually have the part of your body feel heavy, and that's a problem with the sensory nerve. You can actually have a hypersensitivity feeling uh, to pain in a part of your body or a lack of that. So you can have any combination of these right here. So when people have carpal tunnel syndrome, which is an obstruction to the nerve in your wrist, they can also have these symptoms too. So what's happening is that you either have damage directly to the nerve, like the, the coating around the nerve is becoming lost, okay? Or there's compression to the nerve itself. You can also have a situation where you wake up in the middle of the night with the pain, okay? And that can be very irritating. So I wanna talk about the different causes and then the number one cause, okay? All right, the first one is chemo, chemotherapy. That has a side effect of causing something called peripheral neuropathies or nerve damage. Also, uh, chemicals in general, uh, being exposed to chemicals, uh, destroy the nerves as well. Statins, okay, why would statins have a side effect of nerve damage? Well, because statins block the production of cholesterol, and cholesterol is needed within the nervous system because most of the nerve is fat. So if you're blocking cholesterol, you can actually block the production of a normal nervous system and the fat membranes around the cells. Going on a low-fat diet can also cause this as well. Let's say you're a vegan or a vegetarian because even the retina into the eye, which is all neurological, is affected by DHA and EPA. So DHEA comes from animal products unless you're getting it from algae, but you're going to get most of the DNA from fish. So again, if you have, let's say you're on a low-fat diet and you have these symptoms, you might want to start consuming healthy wild-caught fish or some good cod liver uh, oil or even salmon oil. Uh, make sure it's wild-caught to start building that up. So the DHEA is very, very important in neurology and preventing these problems. Toxic levels of something called homocysteine. So this compound is built up when you have a deficiency of certain B vitamins in the diet. And the B vitamins are like so important in maintaining nerve function, especially vitamin B1. If you're deficient in B1, you're gonna have neuritis, you're gonna have all sorts of nerve issues. B6 is very important. B12 is essential. So again, a B vitamin deficiency, anything that creates a B vitamin deficiency can create problems with this, okay? All right, if you're on metformin because you're a diabetic, one of the side effects is it depletes vitamin B12, which is needed for nerve function. Seizure medications will decrease folate. That can actually affect, it's one of the side effects is paresthesia. Drinking alcohol depletes your B vitamins. If you're an alcoholic, if you drink too much, that can actually create this, a problem. But this one right here is the most common one, and it's a high carbohydrate diet. I'm, I'm talking about refined carbohydrates in the form of sugar and pasta and breads and crackers and things like that, because doing that will pull out uh, all sorts of nutrients, primarily the B vitamins, okay? And you start pulling those out. And this is why a diabetic um, who's usually always on a high carb diet has problems with peripheral neuropathies and, and nerve damage and paresthesia because of the loss of B vitamins. So if a diabetic had high levels of B vitamins in their diet, okay? Even though their sugar was high, they would get less symptoms so the B vitamins, especially B1, is protective against um, nerve damage. So if you have this problem and you're doing high carbs, go on a low carb diet. I put a link down below, okay, of how to do that. But also at the same time, start taking B vitamins. The best source would be nutritional yeast, but you can also take some benfotamine with it. So benfotamine, let me, let me spell that for you. Ben. Photamine, okay? 
Spelling is my worst subject, but I think I got this right here. Benfotamine. You can get this. It's a fat soluble B1 that will help the nervous system to actually help undo this condition too. And it also is good for advanced nerve problems like peripheral neuropathies and things like that. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.